there come more police now. Let's see if we can get them coming by here. Yeah, so it's probably something pretty serious up ahead. You know, because we've been stopped for a little while, we're barely moving, and uh, police are coming. What's going on guys? So before we get in today's video, I got a present from my boy Alejandro. And he uh, has no clue what it is, and uh, we're gonna let him unbox it, or unpackage it. See, I was looking for the knife, but it wasn't because of that. So, so what first. do you think it is? So it doesn't weigh nothing, that's the first thing. You're either gonna think it's usually, funny. Usually I'm really good because I, but there's Just go ahead and get to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but what? <laughs> Pull that out. Hold it up. What? What? what the heck? Nice. <laughs> Look at that. I got your own little Puerto Rican flag to hang from the rearview mirror of the BMW. Listen, that's, this is a Tampa, <laughs> Tampa trademark right here. <laughs> Since it's a gift, you actually have to hang it up. You know it's not. It's gonna be hung in the Miata. <laughs> oh man. This is the Miata Lucky Charm. That is epic. <laughs> What's going on guys? So in today's video, got a couple things. Um, I'm not sure what you guys are gonna see first. You may or may not see this dash video first, but I won't even get into that. What I'm about to do is take a three hour trip up to Lake City. Uh, my best buddy, Mr. Alejandro here, is gonna hang out and just finish up a couple things. Uh, we gotta put the end links back in for the sway bar, but we are on the way to pick up a new tow rig. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, but we'll do a full video on the truck. And uh, we gotta, hey, 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 we gotta come up with a name for the truck, bro. Huh? Don't tell them what kind of truck it is yet. We gotta come up with a name for it. But we'll do a full video on that. But uh, yeah, it's about a three hour trip to this dealership. Unfortunately, like, we could not find the truck that we wanted locally, so, uh, Let's head out. So we're about halfway through our three hour trip to pick up our new tow rig. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet until we get there. There's a pretty nice Ford. I don't know much about them. It's a platinum. Um, but let's see, we got 115, hour and 34 minutes and 115 miles approaching exit 427, Lake City. And uh, we are three minutes away now. In a half mile, take exit 427 for US 90 West. And uh, we should see the dealership here shortly. Huge shout out to Alejandro who knew we had to get the Miata done. The wheels are coming in Tuesday. The car was completely tore apart from the dash. He stayed behind, uh, even though I think he wanted to come ride back with me. He stayed behind, finished it up. We got the new end links in and the thing is perfect and uh, the wheels will be going on Tuesday. I don't know that you guys have seen the wheels yet. I think I may have put them on Instagram, but um, we should be arriving at the dealership in approximately two minutes. Alrighty, so we are approaching and if you guys can see as we get closer, you will realize that we are at We're gonna pass it, a Nissan store. We're not buying a Nissan. Chevy. We are picking up a Chevy, and uh, once we get to the vehicle, I'll show you which one we are taking home. All right, guys, so here it is, and you guys are seeing this thing for the first time, just as I am. I know they're putting it through detail, but we have a, like a three-hour ride back home, so it's probably going to need to be uh, you know, cleaned once we get back again. But it's very similar to the last one. Uh, it's a 2019. It does have the appearance package. And uh, the one thing that the last truck we had did not have um, is the hood, and I really, really like the hood a lot. So but we'll go into it in some more detail. And uh, but this is it, it's a 2019 Duramax Z71 four wheel drive, just everything imaginable. And uh, this is the truck I took to Texas when I pulled my car the first time. And I uh, absolutely love the white. So um, we're gonna go in and, and sign some papers and head home with this thing and uh, we'll do a full video and a little more walk around and some interior stuff. All right, if you guys are in the market for a truck, make sure to contact Cody. Cody will hook you up. He had one of the best prices, uh, which is why we drove three hours, but definitely give him a call. All right, so we're getting ready to head out and uh, I just wanna show you guys this thing one more time, man. It is super, super sick. I love the, the hood and everything. I love the front end. It's freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the interior. So it's a Z71 Duramax, four wheel drive. Uh, 
leather power I mean everything there's literally everything it's it's even got a little wireless charging station right here uh, just tons of stuff navigation uh, the only thing it does not have which I kind of wanted but I just really needed a truck and uh, there really wasn't a ton out there um, I really wanted a sunroof but you know just probably because I never had one before but uh, yeah we'll get some video of driving this thing and we are pulling out and this thing is sick man I love this truck love this truck and I haven't even uh pulled out the lot yet so uh oh I think I'm after my first uh backing up adventure here can we drive under this oh yeah we can okay and we good all right, so when I get back home, I'll go through some of the features with you. One of the first things that was freaking awesome is this thing has wireless charging. Right there, you just lay the phone on the mat and the phone will start charging. That is freaking incredible. Uh, Bose audio system, just power mirrors, everything. I'll go through some of the other features once we get back to the house. So not only did I have to drive three hours to pick up this truck, I'm now sitting in dead stop traffic. The cops just flew by. Uh, I'm sure it was an accident or something like that up ahead. I'm really not sure, but I'm just uh, I'm anxious to get home and uh, you know show you guys the rest of the truck, rest of the features, and uh, uh, it has air conditioned seats, which I didn't know. And uh, yeah, so at least my uh, my back and my butt's cold. So up oh, here come more police now. Let's see if we can get them coming by here. Yeah, so it's probably something pretty serious up ahead. You know, because we've been stopped for a little while, we're barely moving, and, uh, police are coming. There they go. So it appears like we are coming up on the problem. I see one, two, three, four, like five cop cars, a couple ambulances, and, uh, I don't see the problem yet. But, actually, I think I see a semi-truck that is off in the woods, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not good, man. Terrible, there's a stretcher. Not good, the whole side of the car has been taken out. Ooh, and the semi-truck, oh man. Wow. Oh, that is definitely not good. Hammer down, let's test it out. Got some power. Got some power. She's making some steam. All right, guys. So I'm finally back home, and I'm just gonna walk around this thing, show you guys some of the features. Um, I know I showed you a couple things at the dealership, uh, but we'll just go through a couple things, and then we'll wrap up this video. Uh, so obviously, it's a you know an LTZ uh, tailgate locks. Is I'm pretty cool. I'm sure it's nothing new. Uh, let's see, it's got the spray and bed liner. Okay, let's go around the side. Uh, it does have the appearance package. I like these little steps right here. Those are pretty nice. Um, I guess those wheels are new for 18 and 19. Um, power folding mirrors. We'll just go around here. It got hammered with bugs. Absolutely just hammered with bugs on our trip back. Uh, it does have the lights up top, which I like. And then if I, think I do this correctly, it does have remote start. Let's see if I do this right. So it does have a remote start, but perfect segue to get inside. Well, let's back up for a second. So right now, this thing barely fits in the space. Um, I got the sign over there. Um, so luckily, I think we're going to be moving soon, so we won't be here much longer. We should have an actual big driveway uh, to put this thing in. So we just got too many vehicles right now for the, for the little space that we have. But hopefully we'll solve that soon. Uh, it's right the back. So in the back seat, um, all right, it's got folding storage under here, which is real nice. All right, let's go take a look inside. I showed you a little bit of this already. All right, so this is inside. Uh, 
tires. Um, one of the things that I do like, and I think I talked about this earlier, is this wireless charging. I can just set my phone there um, and it charges. Um, pedal adjustments, uh, traction control. Um, it's got the really nice LED bed lights in the back, parking sensors, lane, lane departure warnings, your exhaust brake, and then the uh, hill assist. And then uh, it's got all the information in here. And I don't know much about diesel, so if there's any like people, diesel fanatics out there, um, let me know. I know you can do some DEF deletes and there's a bunch of different stuff. All right, guys, so this is it. This is our new tow rig. Hopefully we're picking up a trailer next week and I'll see all you guys at FL2K. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.